Hello dear students, let's learn about report writing in O-level English 1123 exam. Report writing, it's a part of your writing paper in section A, directed writing. There are other options as well like uh, report, article and other things. But for report as well, you have to read a passage of 400 to 450 words to write 200 to 250 words in your answer. There are 15 marks for writing assessment and these 15 marks will be based on structure, expression of ideas, wide range of vocabulary that you use, spelling, punctuation and grammar. So your answer should be well structured, the organization, we will discuss it later on. And how do you use the wide range of vocabulary and your spelling, grammar and punctuation should also be correct. And 10 marks for reading assessment, how well you read the text that was given to you, analyze the facts and ideas and separate them and use this given information for specific use. That means that these 10 marks are going to be given to you based on the content that you use. And you have to drive your content from the re given reading text. Your skill, how well you read will also be analyzed. A report is a formal document that presents factual information in a structured format and the purpose of report writing is to inform or explain a topic clearly and concisely to present data and analyze to make recommendations and suggestions based on the facts and information that you are giving in your report so be concise here is the format how you have to organize to to whom you are writing like to principal what is the subject to give an account of the quarrel between students in the beginning you give an overview then there is a middle then there is conclusion in conclusion you can give unbiased recommendation and suggestions for the benefits and favors of your community that you are presenting not just yourself so be sure of that you will follow you can add into paragraphs if there are different aspects of the fact that you are giving connect the content well logically with linking words and phrases such as finally as a conclusion thus like that and keep in your mind before you start writing the report organize your ideas well in your mind first that which information you are going to add or include in your report don't add too much it must be concise. Here are some characteristics of a good report. It must be clear and concise. It must be well structured and organized. It should be objective and fact based. Don't add your feelings and emotions in your reports. Be unbiased and to the point. Use formal language and tone. So there is a detail about what is tone, what is language. You can, you can join our intensive program to learn all this. Okay, what type of language you have to use? You must be in formal tone, avoid slang and casual expressions, clarity, be straightforward and avoid any type of ambiguity in your report, objectivity, be very much to the point, objectivity, present facts and evidence without personal bias, technical terms, you can use multiple technical terms.